Okay, morning everybody. It is 5.20 right now, a.m. Yeah, around to go to turkey hunt. Uh, my cousin's gonna meet me here at the house, and then we're gonna head back, see if we can get some turkeys. It'd be nice if we get a double. That'd be awesome, man. So, he should probably be leaving his house right about now. And, uh, yeah. Give me some breakfast here. I should be ready by the time he gets here. So, uh, yeah. And, uh, see how this, uh, selfie stick works for, uh, making a video. <laughs> Check it out. Okay, sorry you guys can't see me, but I'm outside now getting a gator out, or technically it's called a mule, or a Kubota. Man, my dog's here. Just got a message. My cousin is on his way out. And so, yeah, we just see how that goes. But, okay. Whoa. You better not follow me, boy. Last time you did. Crap, I forgot my scene on the uh, porch. Shit. I gotta come back to the house now. Shit. Okay, I'll get back to you guys in a bit. Oh. Last time we went hunting, I broke my seat. Like one of the straps. This strap right there. It broke. That was nice. I'm gonna give me a drink. Last time I didn't give me a drink. Today, we'll probably be back there for a longer time. So, uh, yeah, I'll just take one of my dad's Pepsi's. Now, you guys can pl complain about freaking diet drinks and shit. Well, get used to it because it's all my dad or parents can drink. Because of like heart and lung problems and shit. Or digestion. So. What do you want, boy? He's a good dog. Okay. Here we go. Okay, here's something I did not notice, but it rained last night. So this should be a pretty good turkey hunt this morning. Because whenever it gets done raining on my crow cam and crap, I always got pictures of them, like the day after it rains or right after it rains during the day. So, it should be nice. And, like, I, I, everyone says that whenever it like storms or something, it, 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 it's like the best time to go hunting after that. So, we'll find out here. I think my dog. Smile, boy. Good boy. Now, he's freaking wet. What the cow's doing? And you guys are just laying around, staring at me. That one is warm. You're fucking dead. No, we show cattle, so we got a few other cows other than just regular market steers. But okay, get my fucking meal started. Coming with us. See, look at this. This is stupid. No, you are not coming with us. This dog just loves to go anywhere with you. If you're on the gator or the mule, whatever you're on, whatever you're on that he can fit on, he will fucking go with you. Oh, he's getting to be an old dog, too. But I, he always follows us at certain times. I don't want him to fucking follow me, so I'm going to have to leave him here in the fucking barn. So, you're going to have to deal with staying in the barn today, boy. Alright.
Buster, come here. I'm sure they're different headlights. I don't know, I just never noticed them. Probably drive the car over there. Uh, it's colder than the bitch out. <laughs> it's always cold. At least he won't follow us now. Yeah, I brought out a football and we'll really get it. Yeah, that's true. Right? Seriously? <laughs> yeah. Shit. It's a Honda. Uh, I, think, I think it's a Raptor. What has it New spots. Boy pissed me off. I threw the fucking truck over to fucking jumpstart his car. Then he just goes, Oh, I didn't have him in the park. What the fuck? What are you doing? What? What the hell are you doing? My videos. I'm bored. Okay, guys. I did not put any more of the videos in because one, I forgot to, and two, it would probably been a better idea not to because it was a horrible hunt after that. Literally, we went to the river. Time spot. We had a hell of a time trying to get there because the field is all mud. Like it's because it poured yesterday, like all damn day. We probably got like three inches of rain. And my fear get I'm the only one getting stuck in the mud. I'm the one carrying all the fucking decoys that got my cousin owns. Carrying my gun and everything and all that. And <laughs> I kept on getting stuck. So he just kept on going. When I finally got there, got to him. I always sit there. And on the way up, I actually fell down twice. So my gun had mud all over the side of it. At least it wasn't in the barrel and on the chamber. Thank God. So that was a plus. Then um, uh, we got there. Her hens, we think, 
well, after that, none. So we decided to give up. Uh, came back on the way up. I'm just following him. He's like, you know what? Let's cut through the middle. It'll be drier. It's like, okay, whatever. I'm just going to follow you. So that way, whatever happens, I can blame it on you. Anyways, I'm literally stepping in his exact tracks just to help keep me. Because he's not getting stuck or anything. And he's smaller than me, but he's older. Okay? Just to give you. And I'm like, six foot. 5'11", 6 foot, 6 foot 1, I can't remember. I know I'm like pretty much 6 foot, so. And he's probably 2 inches shorter than me, maybe an inch. So. Yeah. I was pissed. And he, when we were going through the middle, I got stuck so bad. I'm sorry about that. I know it's probably disgusting, but like I'm out here in the freaking barn working, but. I got some straw up my nose, well not straw, but hay, and uh, stones up my nose, I'm trying to get them out, it just sucks. Anyways, uh, I got stuck so bad, like my feet sunk a whole probably seven inches, and I'm near trying to get them out, like I can't move or anything, my boot just came off. I'm wearing galoshes, or not galoshes, waterproof boots and all that, you know, the good hunting boots, and they're the big old rubber ones, like basically your creek boots whatever, like you're wearing during fishing, whatever we'll call them, and <laughs> he just looks at me and goes, well, I'll meet you there then, it's like, you son of a bitch, he goes clear up to the car, literally, he walks 300, 250 yards to the car, leaves me there in the middle of the field while he walks the tree line, like, okay, since you guys start, I'm just going to walk the tree line instead, though, it don't happen to me, it's like, bitch, and he gets all the way to the freaking car. I'm still there in the same damn spot. I dropped the decoy as I'm freaking struggling out of the bag. So I picked that up. I took it over to the side. Just caked the mud. And I'm there taking my hands. Just digging and digging and digging. Just digging away all the fucking mud. And he calls me on my fucking phone. I answer with my one hand. It's not all muddy. Because I'm having to hold my gun in one hand with the bag on my back. And I'm only using one hand, only using one hand to dig. And it's like, hey, uh, where you at? It's like... I'm still stuck out here. It's like, oh, well, uh, hurry up, get your butt up here before I leave. It's like, you motherfucker, I'm gonna fucking kill you. <laughs> like, literally, I was gonna fucking kill him. He was being a dick. <laughs> That's just when you just wanna take your freaking shotgun and just unload a shell at his car. Just make sure, like, hey, this is your fucking payback, bitch. Because I was literally there for probably a whole half hour, 45 minutes, trying to get my feet out by myself. That's how bad that fucking mud was. Like, it was so fucking heavy. Every time I stepped somewhere, I felt like I had over 100 pounds on my fucking feet. Like, I could barely lift my fucking feet. That's how bad the mud was. How, I how heavy my boots felt. Okay? And, uh, sorry about the shaking and shit, but... Anyways, I get over the tree line. The I grab this decoy. What I do with this fucking decoy is that I just take and just rub around the mud and shit, stick it in the bag. I'm walking through the tree line and shit. He calls me. I don't answer. And when I get up there, he's there. And all of a sudden, when I get up there, all of a sudden, the decoy falls back out of my bag for the third time now. Like, really? But, okay. Bye. But, no, it was fucking a horrible hunt for me, at least. My cousin probably enjoyed it because of what the hell was going on with me. But, yeah, sweet. Okay. No, that's probably one of my worst turkey hunts ever. I probably will be for a while. So, yeah, till next time I can get turkey hunting. Probably won't be till next weekend. Because today's Sunday, so probably not till next Sunday again. So, yeah. So, see you guys. Leave a comment below if you want. Or, like, what was your worst hunt ever? So, just let me know. Thanks.